Hey folks, this is Mary. Welcome back to my channel. So this is day 13 of 30 inks, 30 days. And for today's ink, I have chosen Ottoman Rose. And it says the Carmine ink of ancient Persia. Hmm, it also says specialty issue on it. I never noticed that before. I wonder if the others say that. Let me find another bottle here. Hmm. Here is Baltimore Canyon Blue. And I don't see anything on here that says specialty issue. So, I guess Shaw's Rose is a specialty issue. I don't know what that means. But I'm intrigued. Okay, so I have swabbed the ink in my notebook. And I've been messing around with lighting today, so hopefully you can see everything nicely. I've been experimenting with some DIY lighting diffusers, and I have stuff draped all over the place. <laughs> I feel like I'm in a, a blanket fort of sorts. So what ink is this? This is Shaw's Rose. Alrighty, a lot of camera vibration going on there. I do apologize. Okay, so hopefully that is dry. Is that dry? Well, I have so much ink on my fingers, it's hard to tell. I think, I don't know, I just smeared some right there. Okay, I think it's dry. So, turning the page. this sideways I'm going to try for 13 all right and I was looking at some reviews of this ink online and I think one of them said this was like pink orange and red all together and I don't know if I would go that far. It's definitely a bright pink. And I was, ooh, well my goodness, that is a terrible looking square. Let's see. Shaw's Rose. And as ever, this is my trusty Twisby Go with a broad nib. And let me do some, ooh, uh-oh, we got some serious shadows going on there. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Apparently I don't have things right well enough. Let's see. Is that better? Ooh, hmm. Well, I don't know if that's better or not. This is still a work in progress. Moving on. So I'm doing our um, hash marks for our water test. Goodness, had a little bit of a hard start there. All right, and our practice sentence. I'm sorry, this is driving me crazy. Who is making all of those shadows? It was him. Okay, we're gonna leave him off for the moment and see how this goes without him. And tonight, I am not going to forget my, my swatch, my swap, my whatever we call this thing. All right, so there is pass number one. Yes, it is looking very pink and red, definitely. And that is going to take forever to dry. All 
right, I seem to have gotten quite a puddle of ink at the beginning of the swatch right there. So yeah, it's gonna take that one a long time to dry. But we'll give this guy a little chance to dry. Let's see. And number three. Yeah, now that the paper is really well saturated, it's looking very red. This is looking pink and this is looking red. Wow. Okay, well, we are going to set this guy aside to dry. Let's see. Ooh. It feels like my desk is shrinking. Not that it's that big to begin with. Let's see. Move this guy out of the way. Mm, okay, and next we will look at the MD paper. So here it is on the MD paper. Shaw's Rose, and it does have some nice shading. It's looking very pink here. It was looking really red in the other notebook. And here is our 52 GSM Hobonichi, let's see, 52 GSM Tomoe River Paper Hobonichi Notebook. Boy, that's a mouthful. <laughs> but all you need to know is this is 52 GSM Tomoe River Paper. So it does have some nice shading. Can you see the shading on that L? The L and the Y, those are very pretty. Hmm... Very nice. Ooh, and Billings has some nice shading, too. Very cool. Alright. Well, ooh, we are moving on to our... Uh-oh. Sorry, the light just came on. Well, I'll leave it on and see how that goes. I think it's making a lot of shadows. Even though I have it covered. It needs more cover. I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, those are some crazy shadows. We can't have that on. Okay. So, let me make sure this guy is dry. And again, I have so much ink on my fingers, it's hard to tell. But he looks dry. So, we are going to give him a couple of drops. I don't feel like I got much of it on the actual hash marks. Isn't that weird? How that symbol, not this exact symbol, of course, but, but crossed lines can mean the number sign, the pound sign, and a hashtag. Isn't that crazy? One little symbol has so many meanings. And it's the same symbol, but it just means different things depending on the context. Oh, I was supposed to be looking at the clock. I'm not looking at the clock. I'm just rambling. So we're going to assume that maybe that was about 10 or 15 seconds. So I'm going to give it another 15 seconds. Meanwhile, I'm looking for my cleanish paper towel. So I can do a little blotting. Ooh, ooh, I got to blot faster. Let's see. Clean paper towel, clean paper towel. Clean-ish, clean-ish. All right, so we did take quite a bit of ink off on the paper towel, but, oh, sorry, still pretty legible on the paper. So, hmm, I think it might be a bit more legible than our ink from yesterday, which was Twisby Green. Hmm, and there's Purple Heart. He moved quite a bit, about the same as Shaw's Rose. But then at the top there, we have Mr. Proctor's Ledge, who barely moved at all. Very interesting. Okay. All right, now we are going to move on to our comparisons. So let me see. 
I always think that I don't have a lot of certain inks. And pink is one of those inks. Sorry, there's some dog hair. <laughs> pink is one of those inks that I think I never have many colors of. But I managed to find quite a few cards to compare this with. So first of all, here is another Noodler's ink. This is Ottoman Rose, which is quite a bit darker, but I mean, this is definitely pink and this is a darker, more saturated color, but they're, they're pretty similar. Here is Diatramentus Dante Alighieri. Now he's looking more red, even more red than Ottoman Rose. And next to those, the Shaw's Rose looks very pink. Here is Sailor Gentle Grenade, which is looking very red, but I think the green sheen, which you can't really see. Let me get it into the light. There, can you see the green sheen? The, I think the sheen is making it look redder than it is, because it's really kind of close to the Ottoman Rose color, but um, not close to the Shaw's Rose. And there's poor Lamy Ruby, just looking kind of anemic. Rubies are beautiful stones. Why is this ink so anemic looking? Oof. And there is Diamine Amaranth. Okay, just for fun, I'm going to turn this light back on because I feel like we need some more light. But then he's going to make a lot of shadows. I don't know. Mm. Beginners, what can you do? Or I should say amateurs. I'm an amateur and a beginner, so I've got it going both ways. Okay, I'm turning the light off again. Okay, whew, sorry about that. Hope I'm not making you dizzy. So, Diamine Amaranth. He's looking a little cooler, a little bluer, perhaps. A little less saturated. I have to say, Noodler's inks are very saturated. And I have heard it said that... Um, the maker of the inks, Nathan Tardif, deliberately makes them saturated so you can dilute them yourself if you choose. There is Diamine Carnival looking very red. And duh, there's Red Dragon. Why did I bring that over here? Let's see, mm, not too far from Ottoman Rose. And let's see, here is Birmingham Twilight, much darker and more subdued. Here is the Diamine Inkvent Ink Mulled Wine. Again, looking redder. Looking, well, I should say looking more burgundy. What else do we have here? Diatramentus Chianti. Again, moving away from the pink and into the burgundy. I feel like Ottoman Rose is kind of straddling that line between pink and burgundy. It's definitely darker than Shaw's Rose, but um, Chianti just moves even further into that red territory. And here is Caveco Ruby Red. Wait a minute. Do, 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 do. Just backing up here for a second. Okay. Lamy Ruby. Caveco Ruby Red. What is wrong with this picture? Lamy, what are you doing? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, I have to say, though, there's some lovely shading on that writing. And swatches are not writing. The swatch does not always look like it looks like in the pen. But, man, it is just anemic next to some of these other colors. I mean, this Caveco Ruby Red is so vivid. Mm. Okay, just wanted to make that observation. Now, where were we? Let me see. Do, 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 do. I think I did all of those. So the last one that I have is Rouge Opera. And again, lighter, but still redder. So I don't know. Nobody's really a good match for Ottoman Rose. Hmm. So a very nice pink. Alrighty, well, I always feel like I've forgotten something. Have I forgotten something? Let's see. 
we did the calendar, right? There's our calendar swatch. And I did this and the water test. And I showed you the other two notebooks. And the um, ink comparisons. Gosh, the time just went by so fast. <laughs> I don't know if you think the time went by so fast. But it just flew by for me. So I hope this was helpful. And I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you again tomorrow. So don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.